This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 75, for Tuesday, October 29th, 2013. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. I don't know about you, but I am ready to ink it up. <laughs> Holy uh, cow. So I'm a little confused here because uh, uh, Google changed their, their interface, so normally there's a 10-second countdown, and um, now, boom, all of a sudden, uh, I, I hit broadcast and, and, and we're live. So, well, um, Google must have known that you didn't like waiting. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, episode so 75. 75, hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty crazy. You know, that's sort of like 75th anniversary pen or something. Something. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. We haven't missed a podcast since... When? I think we've hit one every every week this year. We had to move a couple for work or shows. Yeah, or yeah, but. yeah. But I think we've we've had one every. Um, I think so. Awesome. What's our goal? Just like um, ad nauseum. Two thousand seventy-five, maybe. How many weeks is that? That's a lot of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but when I get to be ninety, I think it might be time to end. Oh, man, another 60, 70 years. Oh, okay. oh you're cute. All right. Yeah. right. Well, we uh, we should get moving. We have a lot of exciting stuff, and I think we might have a Dairy Queen date after this. So. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you. Hey, I blame the chat this time. We will see you next week. I blame Goodbye. the chat. The chat started to talk about food. Yeah. It wasn't maybe we just, can, can we send Garrett to go to <laughs> Dairy Queen, maybe? <laughs> Kids, go get ice cream. Oh, man. Um, okay, so what? First off, um, we, we got a we got a rather nice uh, uh, nice postcard in the mail this past week. Um, our, oh, our good Steph, friend Steph, you Steph rock. Uh, was in uh, Ireland mm -hmm. and so uh, sent the uh, sent the most delightful postcard of a uh, 18th century um, uh, desk dresser. I don't know, mammoth. Like thing. a secretary kind of thing. Yes, yes. Yeah, and Brian decided he wanted one because <laughs> on um, on the back of it she wrote, wouldn't this be great to hold pens or something? And so then Brian decided, you know, I need more pens. Well, you know, I mean, I like the, uh, um, I like what we have, but, uh, uh, you know, we can always use more, right? Always use more storage. Well, we uh, we posted it on Facebook, and uh, Colburn, if you're if you're out there, help me out here. But uh, somebody made a comment that it was sort of like Chippendale style meat stickly, and I just saw the Chippendale part and thought, like, oh yeah, Chippendales are gonna help come help move this. I like this, and Colburn shot me down and said, no, that wasn't quite what that meant. Darn it, <laughs> no Chippendales. So anyway, that was uh, um, that was cool. thoughtful. Yeah, yep. uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Nice to nice to get a, a card from across the pond from, um, from yeah. Steph. So yep, because uh, we uh, saw her last in D.C. and then has hopefully it been we'll... D.C. is that been she's that still long recovering already? from that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then um, uh, I know we're gonna see a bunch of friends coming up soon in Columbus. Now, in the chat, raise your hands. How many of you are going to Columbus? Not a lot of the hand up? <laughs> no. Come on, man. No. Columbus. In, the, in the chat, guys. Aziza, are you going to make it? Jonathan, Paul, Hugh and Carol. Come on, don't let me down. Ira, somebody. Tracy, come on, you know you want to go. Who's going to Columbus? Somebody is. Somebody's bound to. Well, uh, which is, by the way, next freaking week. Next week. I know, Ooh, right? Oh, crap. I gotta um, yeah, so Columbus is, I don't know about you, but it's it's the perfect show for the You always say, this is my favorite. It, it is. I mean, I, I, mean I, I, like, I like all the shows. I really do. They all have almost their own. All. Yeah, almost, almost all. I mean, some are, <laughs> some are cooler than others, definitely. Yeah. Um, some have their issues, uh, but uh, they're all fun to go to. And uh, this one just happens to be uh, one of the best run, uh, the most exciting, uh, 
massive is really a, a good word to describe uh, the size, I think. It is. Number, I would, I would call it the third largest. Yeah, after easily. DC, DC LA, and LA, and then Columbus. And I would go along with best run. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, you know, and I mean, and, and not to, and not to, I don't, I don't want to try to single out any of the other organizers, but Terry shows rock, rock, uh, and this this show in particular, uh, because of the, the length of the, sh the number of years that they've held the show, uh, the number of people that they have uh, helping out. Uh, it's yeah. just uh, super super show, and, and and of course they have auctions and, and all that good stuff. So two of them, two auctions. Uh, which maybe perhaps I should uh, leads me into the. Uh, I, I should I can, can I can I share the list please please please. What list? The auction list. No. <laughs> you mean no? <laughs> you got you got something Fine. in there you if, want you don't want anybody. No, to, if no. if you're if you can keep it brief because I I'll mean keep it brief. You, could, you could talk about every pen for well, twenty minutes and right. and then you're gonna give away all your secrets. I'm not giving away any secrets. I'm not sure secrets. if I'm gonna be working or sitting next to you holding your arm down. You're gonna be holding my hand. Okay. Here it is. Alright. Holy cow, awesome cool pens. Now is this Saturday or <laughs> Thursday? <laughs> and we're done. Uh, no, this is this is this is Thursday. So now Thursday is what oh, they what the, they typically the junkers. No, well, they call it the discovery auction, <laughs> not the parts, junkers. People, it's parts. Not always. It's you know, there. There are pens with 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 condition uh, condition problems, or they're very rare pens that are missing something. Um, Honey, if you say that they're junkers, then not as many people will go. And these pens crap are crappy. <laughs> 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 no, but you know, just a, a lot of nice, uh, nice pens. Uh, in this lot, and, and and of course, true to uh, Columbus uh, auction, um, you know, it, it, there, there's about a hundred lots here. Uh, Vacumatics. I mean, and then and Thursday night's auctions are cool because you can buy lots of pens. So like, here's a lot with uh, two Vacumatics and a Vacumatic pencil, a couple of sh three Shafers in one lot. Um, You've got some nice hard rubber pens, a Parker 21 and a half with a keyhole nib, um, you know, some Lachlan's, AA Waterman's, um, ooh, some more parts. I think I need that cap. Um, oh, my goodness. You know, really, really interesting pens. Um, the the Buff Barrel, um, you know, a grouping of, of Parker dual folds, Lucky Curves, all sorts of stuff. Um, lots of lots, so to speak. Um, nothing he, in here is going to be uh, museum quality. No, no. Uh, collector quality. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you can make something out of out of all of these for sure, but they're not pristine. Ooh, Eisenstadt. Have... I just like Eisenstadt. To say that. Yeah, that one looks neat. I'd like to see. Tiny can't wait to see that. Yep. There's a Targa. Uh, What's wrong with that? A targa. Yeah. Um, who knows? Um, okay. Yeah. So really, uh, really cool interesting stuff. stuff. Yep. And let's see. Let's take a look real quick at the Saturday auction item. Oh, this, no. is, this is the premier stuff. This is good um, stuff. Scary. Yeah, you can't. I mean, just, I mean, and right here, right away, the top 10 items, unbelievable. You got a pick holy water sprinkler. Oh, uh, my heavens. Uh, you'll never see another one of those uh, ever, probably. Uh, done oversize. I mean, come on. Hand engraved Conklin. Uh, crescent overlay, just just stunning stuff. When when I saw this the other day, I said, "Man, Ooh, look this at is... the Waterman 56." Yeah, Cardinal, isn't that nice? Carter's. Now the nice thing about Carter's pens, if you're not familiar with those, is uh, unlike some other companies, the Carter plastics generally hold their color really, really yeah, well. They do. That's, yeah, yeah. That's if you can find a full size Carter, you'll pay for it. Usually you find the the smaller, the smaller ones. or the slim, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at that, look at that set in the box. Look at the color in there, isn't it? Yeah. it just looks. And like, that, I'm looking at that coral. That's just beautiful. Yeah, the coral's nice. That that, that blue there looks just like you know, you're looking out on the water. Really now remember, nice. people, if you're listening to this later, we're talking about the uh, Columbus, the Ohio Pen Show auction site. Look at that Waterman 100 year pen. Yeah. Um, the pictures well, for the Saturday auction. Gorgeous stuff. Yeah, if that, if that 100-year pen was red, uh, he would be all over that, right? 
Yep. Uh, a nice uh, a gold and, and bronze right, yeah. ever sharp equipoise. Um, John Holland, Lady Patricia set. Look at that color. That's just outstanding. Yep. Doris. So lots of lots of nice yeah. things in the auction. Um, now the other stuff. nice thing about Terry, uh, when he does his auctions, is he keeps things moving along pretty well. Yes. So you don't have too much of an issue uh, with things dragging out for Ooh. four hours. He's Stop added it. some stuff here. <laughs> Stop, Stop it. it. Look at that. They got a Schaefer, that Schaefer display, oh, the, the husband and wife. That's cool. That All is. Right, maybe. Okay, maybe. Uh, i got to find a place to put it. Oh, he's going to have the John Holland photo. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so, man. Anyway. Me and Sachi are going to go after that one, oh I can tell God. you. Sachi's great. Yes. Uh, so anyway... Awesome, um, yeah. awesome stuff, and the nice thing is that you can spend most of the weekend looking at it. Um, Terry's son, Ben, is usually in charge of the auction, and uh, you can go and look at it privately, and uh, one at a time you can look at stuff, hold it, uh, so that you have a better idea of what you're bidding on, which right. is awesome. Now, some of that stuff, uh, on occasion, if it's exceptionally rare, you, you have to actually make a special appointment to see yep. it. But I don't, I don't see anything in there that's too exceptional that's going to require an appointment. But uh, there's some yeah. really, really killer stuff in that. It's, it's, you know, and I say it every year, but it's, it, it's one of the best, the best looking auction lineups I've seen in a while. So you do say that every year. Well, I think is, we is it not? Is that not an exceptional lineup that Saturday night? That's. Just I just closed my eyes and prayed while you were looking. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Yeah. I think we need a poll, and uh, gonna we put a poll on the we're going to put a poll on how many pens you're going to buy at the show. Now, so. is that that just for me? Well, I hardly ever buy pens. Well, I mean, whose fault is that? No, oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I guess we should mention here. Let's see. Uh, let's go real briefly over, and we'll talk more about it next week. Because we'll talk week. more next week. Yeah. Uh, the schedule, uh, for any of you that are, are still kind of on the fence, uh, the show, uh, it starts early as early as uh, Wednesday, uh, November 6th, pen selling starting at 6 p.m. until who knows when. Um, Thursday, it starts picking up. Um, exhibitors, weekend registrants only, pen selling from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, and then th this is one of the things uh, we love about the, the, the Ohio show. Is, is every night there's something going on. Uh, so Thursday night on the 7th, wine and cheese party at 6 p.m. Always a, a nice nice way to start the weekend. Uh, the, the discovery auction is at 8. Um, Friday we have uh, weekend registrants, uh, uh, pen selling, a full show set up from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Public show is 1 to 6. Um, there's going to be a number of uh, um, seminars. Uh, we'll touch those next week. Yep. Uh, a pizza party at 6 o'clock, not to be missed. Don't show up late. You will not get pizza, seriously. Uh, Sam and Frank from Pendemonium, they get, what do they get? They get 50 pizzas? I mean, it's ridiculous. They get a bunch. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, and it's always gone by the end of the night, always. So. Yeah, if you if you wait, like if you leave the, the show, you go up to your room and you know, maybe you want to take a shower and freshen up or change your clothes or whatever, by the time you get back down, the pizza will be gone. gone. Or yep. there'll be like the tiny little accidental sliver piece and yeah. people have probably nibbled at the crust already. The last piece of cheese or Hawaiian yeah. or something that, that nobody likes anyway. Yep. And the soda, <laughs> usually there are more sodas than yeah. pizzas, but yeah. yeah, you need to get there. Early. So that that's at six. Uh, uh, the PCA meeting uh, run by our uh, our beloved some woman some woman in this room. Um, uh, Eight o'clock and there'll be coffee and cookies for that. I believe is usually the, the cookies. fair cookies. Yes, and they're excellent too. The chocolate chip cookies. Yep. <laughs> My stamp of approval on that, right? So pandemonium feeds you, and the PCA gives you dessert. Yep. And then you go to the bar coffee. and you schmooze and right. go show pass off. Out. So, yep. uh, actually, I'm looking forward to that because uh, while you're up there uh, giving the State day. of the Union, uh, me and uh, and uh, Eddie, um, the other Ed, the other Ed, uh, are, are going to be uh, uh, getting together in. Uh, that's going to be fun. So, uh, yeah, it'll be good to see him again. That's uh, that's Friday, Saturday, November 9th. Uh, man, the big day 
come the, if you can't come any other day, come this day. Uh, public show is 9 a.m. to 5. A number of um, a number of seminars, um, and then uh, dessert parties 7:15 to 9. So you have just uh, enough time at 5. Works. Get your stuff ready. Go have your dinner reservations or eat at the hotel. What what have you? Uh, but Don't be back for dessert. yeah. Be back Don't for dessert. Get. 7:15 to 9, and it's crazy. It's just awesome. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's way overdone, really. Yeah. Um, they they get y'all sugared up. Um, you can have coffee and um, some alcohol in there. You know, they've got Kahlua or Bailey's or whatever. Yeah. So they they get you a little sugared up, a little liquored up, and then you go bid. Then to the big auction, it's eight cool. to ten. Yeah. Um. So that's that's Saturday. So now you you've got something else going. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, Saturday is a long, long day. But it's um, fun. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, Sunday, uh, again, uh, public show is 10 to 5, uh, a number of seminars, and, and that really wraps up a long weekend of uh, pen events. So a really not-to-be-missed show, especially uh, if if you're interested in vintage pens. There, there's a, a large number of modern pen dealers, too. I'm not, I don't want to dismiss that, but... Uh, Columbus has always been uh, one of the premier vintage shows uh, in the country, and uh, I look forward to it every year because I know I'm going to find something killer every yeah. year. And all our, and all our best yep. friends are there too, so uh, which always, always makes me happy yeah. to see some of these people we don't see or we see early in the year and then we don't see them till the end. Or, you know. Yep, awesome show, awesome friends, awesome auctions. What's not to love? Yeah, you, you know, if you can't make it this year, definitely put it on your list for next year. I mean, there's just yeah. no doubt about it. It's it's one of those. It's, I, yeah, I, you're right. This is a third third best show. Absolutely. Yep. Third largest show. All right. So. So. There's that. What else do we got? We don't have everything else, do we? Uh, we promised him an announcement. We promised an announcement. Okay. We did. All right. So, do you yeah. want to tell him that you're pregnant, or should I tell him that you're pregnant? Well, you know, I, I've worked hard for. <laughs> uh, no. Um, do, do we want to have a little quiz? I have a little, a little quiz. quiz. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, we got we got to allow for a little bit of lag in the chat here. Yep. Um, so let's see if anybody can guess. Hugh and Carol, you're not allowed to answer yeah. this. <laughs> you're not allowed. You in the chat, let's see how close you get. What do copper colored tin ceiling tiles? Biloxi Blues paint and Brian's new ginormous Parker case all have in common. Dun Let's give them a couple of now, now we got now just to remind people if they weren't if they weren't here present last week, uh, the Parker case is uh, what do we say? It's five feet eleven inches long. It's as yeah, it's and it's it's twenty four inches deep, so it's almost six feet long by two feet deep. I'm still gonna have you buried in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so copper colored tin ceiling tiles, Biloxi blues colored paint by Dutch Boy. It's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, the new Parker case, well, the vintage Parker case that we drove to Virginia and back. Was it last weekend? That was two weekends ago. Okay. Well, no, no, see, and, and this all kind of all rolls into people probably think probably think we're nuts anyway. Well, we are. Um, you know, but you know, I started recently started collecting these cases. Yeah, that's a that's you an know, issue. I, I went to. <laughs> <laughs> that's an issue. We're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have therapy right here on the yeah. <laughs> the podcast. Oh, okay. Um, no, because we I went to that auction and I brought home three. Vintage yes, seat. you did. Uh, two of which, uh, unfortunately, did not fit in the pen room. They yep. will not will not go downstairs. <laughs> all right. So, what do they all have in common? Ready? Drum roll. Somebody give me a drum roll. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I had that ready. <laughs> you told me to have it right now. <laughs> do I have a drum roll? I gave you a drum roll. Did you hear that? No. No. Well, all right. Well, here so. we go. They can all be found. Oh, go. I'm supposed to say this? Yeah. Uh, in our new retail store. So. 
So you can, I don't know why you can't hear that, but <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, so um, yeah. So we're opening a store uh, in downtown Appleton. Uh, we looked for a long time. Uh, it's a something we we've, we've wanted to do for a while. Well, we've, we've been looking for about what, about a year and a half. Yep. Uh, in seriously about six months. Yep. Uh, we found a couple that we looked into. Uh, a couple had issues, and and uh, but yeah. So we we finally found what we think is a perfect space. Um, Aziza, take. A, oh my God, she's gonna give herself a heart attack. So yes, a retail yeah. store. Um, you can check it out. Uh, we don't have pictures up yet on Facebook. Soon, very uh, soon. I will put something soon. up. Yep. Uh, on the space at the moment, but um, we, yep, brick and mortar, absolutely. Brick and mortar. Uh, we've been working on it. Absolutely gorgeous color. Um, it's it's got tin ceiling tiles that are just beautiful. Uh, it's really got some character. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 really it's uh, it, it was kind of almost uh, I don't want to use the word fate, but um, we had a we had a couple other options that kind of fell through, and then this this thing just sort of opened up, and it's really it's the the quite possibly the best space in all of all of downtown um, it to is. have a, to have a retail store and to have this type of store. Yep. Um, so we're we're. Incredibly excited, and it, it also explains, <laughs> at least on my part, um, the uh, the the length of time it takes me to respond to emails, um, and, and and the the increased length of uh, repair queue time. So, because uh, I get done with work, and and we immediately go look at places every night of the week. Yep. So. And uh, once we finally. Um negotiated this and uh, now that we've got keys we are really working very very hard to get this thing up and running and uh, the weekend after Columbus we will have our grand opening yes oh my god <laughs> yeah well you know I that, that I think I, we're shooting for that I think that's yeah. it's gonna be uh, I think it's gonna be a little tight but, it'll be um, tight but it can be done <laughs> uh, it's uh, about half a mile from home yeah it's so, it's great. It's walking distance. We, In fact, it's, we can walk. It's it's two blocks actually from where I, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, it depends on how you look at it. Uh, still work. where you work. So I mean, yeah. literally, it's uh, two minutes for me yep. to. I get done with work, I walk over, and I'm there, or, or what have you. So. And and downtown is wonderful. Downtown Appleton. Um, there are other cities. There are other places in town. Uh, where we could have found you know bigger space, cheaper, or just you know different space, but downtown is very full, very active, very very active. Yeah, um, there's there's something going on all the time. Something going on um, all the time. There's a university and, is right down the street, so it's just it's perfect. It's just it's it's a terrific place, and this location actually has a storefront that is on the main road, but it's also part of an inside little mall so you have uh, all sorts of things going on and the mall itself has uh, it's not like a regular retail mall it's more like a it's just a downtown little shopping center um, but I don't know how to describe it I'm, but I'm it has some really chat, so. <laughs> really cool amenities that uh, we plan to take care of. Yeah, yeah there are some cool things uh, it definitely, I, I, we hope to see to to have uh, many of you as guests uh, here Absolutely. in Appleton at the store. Come on down. Um, we, we've got a lot of things planned, and um, and 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 we're not done. So, um, we yeah, got, we, we still have, have some other big things coming up. We've got a lot of big things coming up. So, but th this is just it, it, we've been we've been talking about it, and this is just the perfect. It's the perfect perfect town for this. Yeah, um, it's not huge. It's not a huge town, but Appleton just it has the right culture and. It's got the right mix of of other stores downtown as well, um, and uh, so we've got. That's that's what we've been working on. That's why some of the things have been uh, a little slower, perhaps. Um, 
you know, repairs yeah. or getting things on the site or, or emails. I mean, I'm down at the store painting for hours. But yeah, uh, I'm still sort. We <laughs> we painted the, the entire place <laughs> on uh, Saturday. Well, Friday and well, Saturday. Fr you, you started on Friday, and then I, oh, I helped. Yeah, I'm I, still I, I, feeling it. I'd like to think it's I helped on, on Saturday. You did. Um, sure. But uh, uh, we also we had flooring we had to rip up, and uh, I'm still feeling it. So. Yeah. No, it's gorgeous. We will. Uh, we have some before pictures, and as we get more stuff uh, done and up, we'll take more pictures. But we are loving it, and uh, we've got a lot of interesting things planned. Um, some new brands, some new products within some current brands. Um, I think we're going to try and do a couple live events. Uh, yep, yep. I, I'm excited about some of these these new brands that we're going to be bringing in. I think they're going to be. Yeah. Uh, actually, some of them I want for me, so <laughs> that's <laughs> that's one benefit of uh, of doing it. But uh, uh, there's there's a number of things that that, that, that I, would, I think would be um, of interest to some people, and uh, and it's just going to be plain fun. It will. It will. You know, and I, I, everybody I, I in the so. mall is all excited. And yes. It's going to be fun. And yeah. we've had a lot of people looking uh, through the windows. Yeah. So. It's uh, yeah. It's going to be great. So, um, yeah. If you're if you're in Appleton, and we're going to be open six days a week, and, and, and to answer some of these other questions that are coming in, yes, we're still going to do pen shows. Um, that does not change. No. Um, and unfortunately, I still am going to work. <laughs> um, I know we're completely nuts, but that's that's just how it is, and that's the only way to live, as far as I'm concerned. So. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're excited, and we will keep you posted. Um, but, uh, yeah. If uh, it, w w we're shooting right now, I think I think the day is what the fifteenth. Sixteenth. Sixteenth is a Saturday, the sixteenth. Yep. Uh, which is yeah, it, it is pretty quick considering that uh, the carpet's not going to be in until uh, next fifth. week, yep. and then we leave for Columbus the day after. So um, we're not actually getting anything in. We're not getting display cases in the store until uh, the Monday the <laughs> Monday the eleventh. <laughs> no, we could bring some stuff in maybe. You, you know. know. Yeah, I guess we can next week. We'll see. If, if, if I just packing, have to but, pack uh, early. Uh, we're we're, we're bringing. Yeah, we're bringing all, all the cool vintage vintage cases, and, and just they're going to look so beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Brian's more excited about that than anything else, I think. Well, it's going to be. I, it's you know, for me, it's been <laughs> it's been a dream for a long time to have you know all these vintage it has. cases it has. in one spot and to be able to have some cool pens and stuff in there. So, yep. and desk sets. <laughs> we'll be desk oh set. my god, desk sets. <laughs> yep. So, so. Uh, but definitely. Uh, like us on Facebook and follow the progress uh, and follow us on Twitter. We will have some um, in-store things going on um, or if we post something maybe on Facebook or Twitter that uh, might have a code or something so you definitely want to keep an eye on that because yeah. while Brian's at work I'll be all alone with the social media. See you know I keep telling her I'm jealous but she's like well no you yeah. You know, you really don't want. I'm like, yes, <laughs> I want to be in this <laughs> store. Yes, yes. So, uh, what else right. is going on? Um, we'll 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 save the the the, the new stuff for when it actually gets here, uh, which of course it will also be on the website. Yes. Um, but um, uh, <laughs> Mary Collis says she's 918 miles from if she leaves now. <laughs> Hey Mary, we have a guest room. Um, we we do. We can kick the kids out. Yeah, we'll kick your uh, out. Uh, we do have a couple a couple of things that are coming up this week, um, which are kind of cool and exciting. Um, yeah, we're we're very excited. We're just all around excited. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll start. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be I'm great. Talking. <laughs> That'd be great. Shut up and talk. Um, the new Twisby 580s, uh, black and rose gold trim, uh, are making so their creamy. ways. Yeah, they are making their way to us as we speak. Uh, we should have them here. Uh, what is today? Tuesday. End of week. Yep, we uh, have tracking. So I'm. Uh, it's sort of like watching Santa Claus, you know. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be they're gonna be a nice nice looking pen. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than the regular 580. Um, I think they're about twenty dollars more. Yep. Uh, but it's a nice, really, really. I, I just love rose gold in anything. So I, I think this is really an exceptional looking pen. Um, 
supply is a little bit limited at first. Um, so uh, if you're interested, just uh, they're, they're actually up on the website now. You can uh, yep. hit the back and stock notification. When we get them in, then you'll just be not, uh, notified. Uh, so that's that's coming up this week, so that'll be cool. What else you got? Uh, we have, you know, I, I love I love me some ink. <laughs> love me some ink? I love me some ink. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are uh, restocking organics this week. We've been out of uh, a number of things. And uh, we're also including several new colors. Oh, really? <laughs> this yes. This is news to me. <laughs> Five or six oh. new colors. Good thing we got that extra extra bookcase. I keep yelling at Tyler to stop yeah. making colors. He's like he's trying to compete with Diamine or something. Um, so, uh, some of them are uh, Iron Gall or pigmented ink. So those are going to be fun. Speaking so, of, uh, oh, you, I don't, I'm jumping ahead here. That's fine. Uh, Scribal Workshop. Uh, we're getting an order to restock coming in this week as well. Um, that damselfish blue is just gorgeous. I like that a lot. That might just be. I got to. I got to. I got to get rid of some of this other stuff. I mean, I'm almost done with my aurora blue. Um, okay. Lucas. Right, so. Lucas does a great job with his inks. The yeah. um, the siren, the mermaid, and the damselfish. Those three blues are phenomenal. But the greens are awesome as well. And. Uh, yeah, I like the greens too. They're pretty. He he. I mean, they're all good. The the Sasquatch brown is really cool. The uh, Zhulong red is awesome. I mean, the Toad purple, <laughs> and Nessie purple. Oh my god! All of the names. The names are yeah. great. Yeah. Right. Everybody everybody in the chat is, is trying to figure out how far of a drive it is. <laughs> I'm Come serious. on, Jonathan. Come Sixteen on hours. Come on. Please. We did that with our eyes closed. In fact, I think we did once. I think we did, yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, organics and scribal uh, coming in this week. And like I said, organics, we will have several new colors. So that is going to be really cool. And speaking of ink, take it away, handsome. Uh, speaking of uh, iron gall, um, we got a lovely package from Germany uh, about yesterday, two days ago. Yep. Uh, finally, uh, Roar and Klingner. Uh, is back in stock, including uh, Scabiosa and Salix Iron Gall, yeah, which are gall. which were so popular we, we barely had them uh, in stock for very long. So uh, those are back in stock, and I'm very happy to have those. So. Yep. And uh, because of Fountain Pen Day, which is Friday, right? Does that mean I get to, did I get a fountain pen that day? I do actually. Don't I? Is that our anniversary? <laughs> it is our anniversary. All right, you get a pen that day. You <laughs> might even get two. Uh, because Fountain Pen Day is on Friday. We are extending our free shipping promotion through Friday. Yeah, so that's uh, to, uh, free U.S. shipping, uh, yep. over $25, and uh, international uh, because it varies so much. Uh, we'll, we'll give you essentially the, the equivalent, so it's uh, uh, 6 bucks off. Uh, the codes are right on the, the home page. Exactly, so, so check that out. But uh, lots of ink. We also have, uh, Brian doesn't know this, but we have a bunch of Claire Fontaine coming in and some other stuff. <laughs> well, then when I say order stuff, I just mean order the stuff that we sold. <laughs> okay. Growth. It's growth. <laughs> I know. Ooh, Friday is Tracy's birthday. Okay, everybody, That's everybody, cool. we're going to say happy birthday. No, we're not. We can say happy birthday. All right. <laughs> That's a cool day to have as a birthday. A found pen day. She needs a pen. That's awesome. All right, so. What else we got? Anything? We got a store. <laughs> we got a store. <laughs> oh, my God. It's real pretty. It doesn't have any carpet yet, but. It's pretty, yeah. Uh -oh. So, all right, so I think is that about it. I have some shout outs. You got some shout outs? Awesome. I do. Rock it. I do. Um, Hugh and Carol, for their patience, uh, I, I hope you guys have unlimited texting because I know we've been burning up the texts with uh, <laughs> all this store prep and drama and chaos. Um, big, uh, big hugs to Cousin Martin for the same thing. We've been um, 
emailing back and forth a lot, and he's been super supportive, and, and he's been on a, a lot of fun to have in on the secret. Um, big, big, big hugs to our super good friend, Bert. Uh, when we first started the search, Bert was amazing, so supportive and so helpful and had some great suggestions. Um, now, keep in mind that Brian and I both come from a retail background, so it's not like... We just decided. Well, and we're also we're also doing this. Let's kind just of, be crazy. We're we're kind of doing this backwards, right? And most everybody takes a brick and mortar, and then they make yes. an e-commerce business out of it. And we're kind of doing the reverse. And a lot of people I know um, thought we were nuts. I mean, they were like, "No, you don't ever want to do that." In this place, in this town, it makes we sense. Do. Yeah, it makes sense. And we've. Done a lot of research, but uh, big hugs to Hugh and to, to Hugh and Carol, and to Bert, uh, and to Martin for being just awesome and, and supportive and uh, great sounding boards. Yeah, thank you. So we greatly appreciate it, and uh, big hugs to Stephanie uh, for sending that postcard and and thinking of us. That was just really cool. Yeah, I love getting stuff in the mail. That's awesome. Yeah, That's Eddie cool. G, you too, man. Yes. Dude, you send the coolest stuff. Yeah. Didn't he and send I will, He did. Eddie sent me a... Uh, <laughs> where is it? Is it part of a pen? Yeah, it's over here somewhere. I don't remember where I put it. I think it's on my, my counter back there. Uh, a, a green icicle um, that needs some help. Um, so I will be um, be working on that uh, sometime, hopefully. Uh, yep. See if we can get it back to its former life. And, uh, of course, all you guys in the chat. You guys are rock. I so look forward to Tuesday nights because of the chat. <laughs> I don't know, it just, it, just, it just scrolls by. It's like, you know, credits on a movie. It just... Uh, yeah. It's fun. Except the credits here you want to read. It's yeah, like, I do. You know, and, and, and I, I want to do the you know? podcast, but read at the same time. So, <laughs> anyway. All I right. think we've, uh, we've, we're enough, we're, we're done with shock and awe. Not yet. Not oh. yet, maybe. <laughs> no. I know. You still have a we, bunch. we got more tricks. We got more tricks up our sleeve. We got to exactly. keep it in Exactly. That's just the start, people. That's just Watch the start. out. Um, Brace yourself. Watch miracles happen. Next week. Now, uh, last week we mentioned that this week we were going to have a special guest. Um, yeah. And uh, uh, due to scheduling conflicts, uh, we had to push it off. But next week we are going to have a very special guest. Um, and uh, we're we're excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, he's a blast! Um, You're so going to love it. There will be a teaser uh, teaser for you up on uh, Monday night. Um, he's you know, a trip. I do him on the weekend, but this is going to be this going to be super fun. In fact, just to give you an idea how much fun this is going to be, um, I was asked one question um, during my. I, I, we, <laughs> we called him yesterday, and he says, "Okay, so is this G rated?" <laughs> So I have to behave myself. Yeah, so I have to behave myself. <laughs> You're gonna fit in yep. just fine. So. Yeah. No, he's great. We've known him for a long time, um, and it's it's a good week to have him on. So yep. uh, we'll just leave it at that. But you don't want to miss next week because our guest is a blast. He's gonna be fun. So and yeah. uh, you know he doesn't uh, he doesn't doesn't hit the social media a lot, but uh, uh, the dude knows his pens. Uh, he does. Man, he absolutely he's, does. He's got it. He yep. really does. So, and he's got a great sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. He's got Above that all, kind of what's... dry but droll. Like he says something, and it takes you a minute. Like yeah, and then oh, he he, he wait waits, he waits, and then all of a sudden you get the little you know, curl of the the smile, and then yeah, he knows yeah. you know he got you. So yeah, uh, that's next so week. Definitely um, check in next week. You're gonna have a blast. Uh, we'll 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 have something up a little promo Monday night. Uh, to give you give you a clue in who it's, who it's going to be. So some some of you uh, who hit the the show circuit uh, do know. So that's yep. that's as much as I'm going to tell you. He doesn't go to most shows. No, only a couple. Yep. All right. So <laughs> he's a recluse. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. So I think that's it. I think we've, right. uh, we've shocked everybody enough. Okay. So uh, everybody, Appleton does have an airport. Yep. Or, International airport, so it does go to Canada once a year. No, just kidding. Um, no, it, it does have an airport, and uh, 
we uh, we we welcome you uh, to our home. And, oh my, uh, yeah, just uh, let us know. We'll open the store. Yeah. And yeah, we, any day of the week. So. Yeah, absolutely. So there you go. All right. Uh, I think uh, DQ is still open. So. Um. Ooh, Dairy Queen. <laughs> doot, doot. Dairy Queen run. All right, everybody. Uh, I think uh, that's it for this week. Um, I think so. Uh, comments, suggestions for topics, use your pens. Write to us at Anderson Pens, P.O. Box 732, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54912. Definitely uh, catch us online. Send us an email. Email is brian at andersonpens.net. Or at lisa at andersonpens.net. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash andersonpens. Uh, we do have a Facebook account. It's facebook.com slash andersonpens. Uh, we have a blog, and that's where you're going to find all the updates on the store, blog.andersonpens.net. Woo! <laughs> and the website What's is andersonpens.net. That was store uh, excitement. That was store excitement. Join the mailing list for advanced notices of upcoming new products or special sales. Thank you very much for listening to our podcast. You and we will rock. see you next week. Good night. Bye. Ink it up. <laughs> <laughs>